One of the major changes to Blackmagic design introduced in the new beta of Resolve 18 is the ability to render individual clips with timeline effects. Now in previous versions, if you wanted to do individual clips, uh, you would be able to keep your color changes, color page changes, but if you added anything in the Fusion page, or if you did anything in Fairlight to the audio, uh, that wouldn't be reflected in the individual clips that you rendered, only if you did it as a single clip. So here I'll demonstrate on the first clip here, on the Fusion page I added a text plus node, and the words Resolve 18. And this one I just have a normal clip. And the last one here I added some distortion on the Fairlight page. So I'm going to switch over to Deliver tab here. You want to make sure you're in the individual clips mode here. And the difference, the change they made is this checkbox right here for render timeline effects. By default, that is off. But if you check that, you can come down here to add to render queue and render that out. And that should be done in a few seconds here. Okay, now if I open the folder where I go set to, you can see that the first clip here has my Fusion text on it. And if I play this last clip, you can hear the distortion that was added on the Fairlight tab. Now I'm going to do the same thing, I'm just going to give it a different name here. So I'll name these five. And I'll uncheck under timeline effects, and this will be like what happens with the previous versions. Now I'll render this out. Again, that'll take a few seconds here. Let that run through. Just about done. Okay, that's finished. So I'll go back to the folder. And you see that the first clip didn't even render because it has the fusion effect on it. And if I play this last clip, You see that the audio is no longer distorted, so that effect isn't working. So that is a great change. Uh, a lot of people have requested that on the Resolve forums, the ability to bake in the effects. So I think for a lot of people's workflows, that'll be a major change. Uh, there's quite a few other changes, so stay tuned for other videos where I'll highlight different changes in the newest beta, Resolve 18. And I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.